Merry meet you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a very beautiful spell. This spell, let me lower this. This spell is actually a beautiful spell to where a mother is asking for help to remove her children from negative influences. So it's a very cool, beautiful spell. Um, it involves bringing the, the children back to their innocence, to where they were good children, to where they were obedient, to where they were not um, influenced by negative um, people or things. All right, one of them went through cancer. He's now um, indulging in alcohol, so we want to remove that. So I'm sorry, I'm filming from here. I hope no one complains about this right here. I'm a female, and this is what I look like. I'm sorry. So here we go. Um, I've covered the faces to protect the identity. So here we go. For this wonderful, beautiful spell that is from a mother's love, we have the pictures, we have the sigils and the birthdays behind where we're going to bring them back to the innocence. I'm going to be using a cinnamon stick to guide them to where they're supposed to be, okay? We're also going to be using one, two, five white candles and one pink candle. The pink candle represents the innocence of healing, okay, guys? So here we go. For the herbs, we got chamomile, we got mugwort, we got sage, we got lavender for... For calming, we got sugar and cinnamon. For the oils that I'm using on the candles and on the pictures, it's Black Witch's Protection Oil. Remember, we want to protect them from all the negative influences that they've been going through. So here we go. I've already cast it, and I've already started to enchant and bring and call on for them to actually steer away from the negative influences. So here we go. The casting has already begun, and I want to bring back and to actually rewind the time. So I'm going in a counterclockwise, rewind the time to back to return to innocence, to where they were good children, to where they were not influenced by the negativity, to when before they were broken, and for whatever reason, this child here, this young man here, he was broken because of his cancer, and he lost a lot of hope, and this child here, negative influences as well. So we're asking, from mothers to mothers, from a mother to a mother to help heal and bring back the process. And the first thing I want to start doing here is I'm going to be going in a clockwise motion. I'm going to start first with my chamomile. And so chamomile, to me, since I was a child, when every time we had colic or we had we were sick ill, we always used chamomile. Chamomile uh, possess wonderful healing properties, not only in magics, but also, guys, in... um. When you drink tea, so children, babies with colic, a little bit of, of chamomile, it helps them a lot. And I'm going to reverse, and I'm asking for healing, for these two children healing. I'm going to add the same, the same thing onto the candles, just a little bit. All right, here we go. So the next thing I'm going to be adding here is the mugwort, because mugwort, it's the most fascinating herb that I've ever come across. This here helps you with both um, love, It not only both, but it helps you with love. It helps you with um, psychic abilities. Um, it helps to remove negativity. There's so many, it's connected with my goddess Hecate. So it's got so many wonderful properties. So here we go, starting on them and moving straight up like this, the way I'm going, starting on the pictures and going around once again, going in a clock, counterclockwise motion. Remember our intention and our energy is going to healing and removing and reversing all the negative influence that is around these these them men here. I don't want to call them children because children they are not. The next thing we're going to be using, the next herb that we're going to enchant here is lavender because lavender, we want to take away the rebellion that's going on here. We want to take away the depression that's going on here and lavender is a very soothing, gorgeous, oh I love this. It's my favorite herb and the scent. Lavender lemonade is one of my favorite beverages. So here we go once again, starting from the center and up and moving around and around. And I'm gonna begin to pick up my cinnamon stick here and I'll begin to cast again, using my energy with the cinnamon stick, calling on the protection and bringing these young men back to where they should be, turning the hands of time to bring them back to the time of innocence to where they once were, to where all of the bad influences were removed and bad influence were not even there. So this is what we want. Moving the bad influences here. Put 
Bring it back to love. This is all done with love. This is all done with love. Okay. Things were different before things were tarnished in your life. Return back to where things were not tarnished in your life, where you had believed in people and in things and situations. Go back in time. Return back. Go back in time. Go back in time. I'm calling on the hands of time and I'm calling on the mother energy to, to bring in healing power, healing to these two young men, to bring them back to where they should be in time of innocence. Not only that, to a time where they were not broken hearted or broken in mind. My last and final herb is going to be sage because I want protection for these young men. Sage on the candles and sage on them. Back in time again. Back in time again. Back in time again. Go back in time again. twigged in half, I'm going to pin these two young men together, and then I have the cinnamon stick point to where I want to meet them, and this is when the candles come in to play, and I'll tell you how and why. When the camera goes up, I will remove the, picture, the stickers off their face. There we go, okay? This is when the candles are coming in. My candles were anointed with black, which is protectional, like I told you, available at the shop. Everything else you can buy. One more thing I'm going to add here. Actually, two. Apologize for this. We're going to add cinnamon, I mean sugar. Because the sugar is going to sweeten this, these young men up with her, their parents. Sweeten them back up. This is the last thing, guys, is the cinnamon. Just to kind of speed it up a little bit, not too much. We don't want to heat it up too much because they're very sensitive folks here, all right? I'm gonna start to light my candles here. I'm gonna start right about, I'm gonna start at about an 11 o'clock here. Okay, so let's stick him first. The next one's going to be right about nine o'clock. Right about nine o'clock. The next one is going to be at six o'clock. Wait, yeah, six o'clock. Then we're going back in time, and our intention is there to when these young men were not tarnished. The next is going to be at uh, three o'clock. Now, 
I'm gleaning them out. Out. They're heading out now. I'm gonna put this white candle here, and then the pink is gonna go at the tip because that's where we're sending them out to the innocence. To pink, pink is connected to innocence. So we're getting close as we can to the cinnamon stick, and almost over. Now our pink one is gonna go right here, where we want them to be. We're gonna begin lighting, go back in, going back in time to return to innocence. That's what the representation of these white candles are for. A very gentle, very loving, beautiful, gorgeous spell workshop. From a mother to a mother. From a mother to a mother. Let this gentle healing bring out, remove all negative and influences. This is my will. I'm going to continue um, working the spell and I'm going to be right back with another casting. The next casting is going to be a dark spell. Many blessings.